Rorschach's Journal, August 2nd, 1985. 4.15 a.m. Another soulless night ends. I feel drained, empty, need something to fill the void. Wholesome, whole wheat bread. 2nd, 4.18 a.m. Hey there, convict friends. I'm Travis, and this is another episode of What the Fugue? And who watches the toaster? Seriously. Good fun. Yeah, I think the Watchman toaster is ridiculous too, um, Ghost Critic. Uh, but I also think it's a, I think it's pretty funny at the same time. Nothing I'd ever spend money on, but if someone wanted to give me one for free, I'd take it, uh, just because I think it's hilarious. Anyway, um, that little thing, um, no toasters were permanently damaged. I haven't got all the black marks off it yet, so we'll see how the wife responds to that. And um, no children were permanently left in any refrigerators, so we're all good. Anyway, um, yeah, this is my first week of my long work week, so um, forgive the disheveled look that I look. Um, today was the fourth 12-hour shift in a row. Yeah, anyway, good fun. Um, so a little scatterbrain. I don't have a lot to talk about this time around, but I really feel like I still wanted to do you know some of a video. Um, video this time around, other than the fun little toaster thing, is um, going to be me just complaining a whole bunch. Uh, maybe that's because I'm tired, um, or whatever. Normally a lot of this stuff I don't really talk about. First, let's talk about Rob Liefeld. I don't know how many of you out there are Rob Liefeld fans. I used to always say, hey, yeah, I don't like the guy's art, but I like his enthusiasm. I like how excited and how amped up he was to push the DC stuff and really be all excited and everything and whatnot. Well, today on Twitter, today is August the 2nd, 2012. Today on Twitter, Rob Liefeld basically said anybody who's ever worked on Deadpool, artist or writer, is a D-lister, is a D-list talent. Really? So does that mean he's a D-list talent? Anyway, um, I'm going to read a little bit from this um, article. This article, got my phone here so I can actually read it. Um, this article in particular is from uh, www. Um, theouthousers.com. I'm not really familiar with the website. This was just the quickest place for me to find the general scuttlebutt around the thing so I could talk about it because it really irritates me. I, like I said, I don't think there's any call for this. I mean, I, to me, it just seems it seems really rude. And uh, I guess one of those things of, you know, instant social media is um, great and all as long as you use it appropriately. Now, if what he meant was I don't think Deadpool's being used as well as what it should be now, that maybe it should be a higher profile book or whatever, that's fine at all. Right now, um, Cullen Bunn is um, the writer on um, Deadpool. I'm not a Deadpool fan. I'm a Cullen Bunn fan, though. I like Cullen Bunn. I think that um, he writes some great stuff. I love Six Gun. It's one of my favorite titles. Um, he writes that, and I think he writes lots of other good stuff, too. So, at any rate... Um, Anyway, in this article, basically, it says, um, you know, that he called everybody, um, you know, he's, let's see, I'm not going to read the, their whole article, because you can read it uh, if you want to, um, but let's see here. He tweeted, testament to Deadpool's appeal and durability is that he thrives regardless of being relegated to D-list or talent. Marvel A-listers never never touches. Um, and, you know, just to kind of, you know, give you a list of some of the D-list talent that has worked on the book. Joe Kelly, Daniel Way, Fabian Natchez, Colin Bunn, Gail Simone, Dwayne Skirginski, Victor Glacier, Mark Wade, 
Ian Churchill, Joe Miranda, Christopher Priest, Ed McGinnis, Fred Van Lant, um, Jason Aaron, Jason Pearson, David Lamph, Kyle Baker, uh, Bongo Dazzo, Jimmy Poloni, Riley Brown, Mark Brooks, and of course Rob Liefeld himself. So is he calling, like I said, is he calling himself a um, um, D-lister? Um, of course, you know, then Twitter had to kind of fire back, you know, to make some comments on their, um, you know, um, br um, Brian Bendis, his, com his only comment back was, is, wow, shame on you. Um, some of the other updates of some of their Twitters that came in on the thing. Um, Dave Johnson, um, he's at DevilPig666. Dave Johnson does awesome, awesome cover work. I mean, he's Eisner nominated, if not award. Um, cover artist. His reply was, "Is yes, I've been evaluated. I've been elevated to the D list of talent. Thanks, Rob. Now, if I can only learn to ink while driving my car. And for you that don't know that reference, when um, Rob was first doing the the new DC fifty two stuff, people kept saying, "There's no way you can keep up with it. He won't be able to do as many books as he was doing." And he actually, to prove it, he showed himself on vacation driving in his car on YouTube and as he's literally driving he has a page in front of him and he is inking it as he's driving down the highway. Um, let's see... Uh, let's see, um, Rick Remender um, replied to him, a lot of talented people you just called out as D-listers. Might be a better way to congratulate yourself. Uh, and then Rob Lightfield back to um, to um, Rick Remender. The truth hurts. Did I miss the Brew Baker's Deadpool arc? Miller's Deadpool arc? Um, Lo Loeb's Deadpool arc? Get over yourself. So whatever. You know, um, like I said, I used to I used to at least defend the guy in the fact that um, he was very enthusiastic about comics. And that was great. I know a lot of people pick on him. I I'm done. I hate his artwork, I hate his missing feet, I hate his thousand teeth, I don't like anything about it, and now, after him being such a jackass to all these other people who are working hard, all these other creators who are out there trying to do their thing and whatnot, um, yeah, forget it. You know, I, I don't need to even comment on the fact that he's an enthusiastic guy or whatever anymore. Just kind of stinks. Anyway, um, the next thing that I'm going to bitch about is, um, of course, most of you who have been following me at all know I live out in the middle of nowhere. And for me to really get any books, I mean, I occasionally buy a book at a chain store, um, but for me to get most of my books, I have to order them online. For many years, many years, from at least 2002 up until about four or five months ago, I have been using a mail order, online mail order um, service called um, Mail Order Comics. And to start out with, they were really great. If I had a problem or there was something wrong, I emailed them. I got an email back from the owner of the thing. He would email me personally. He would personally send out um, you know, newsletters to people about what was going on and whatnot. And if you had a problem, he worked really hard to try and figure it out for you. He explained how, because I didn't really know how ordering three months in advance worked. He, he personally took time to explain that. It was great. It was an awesome service and whatnot. And then, oh, six, eight months ago, I can't remember now. I'm tired enough. I can't remember exactly. I just looked at the at the data because I keep it all. Um, they changed websites and changed some stuff, and things got weird. Um, but actually, before that, the site got hacked a couple times, and I'd sent emails saying, "Hey, it looks like your site is hacked. Um, is my information that you have is it safe? Is it safe for me to order my comics right now?" I would get no replies back. No replies back to any of that stuff. So service really started to drop. Then they changed their website, made it hard to order and whatnot, and that's when I decided to start using um, Discount Comic Book Service, uh, which is, of course, like Comic Monk was talking about, it's an awesome service, it's great, it gives you great discounts, the service there is tremendous, if you miss a book, you can email them and say, oh my gosh, I missed this book, they figure out how to get it in your order, um, they're, they're just, they're absolutely great, dealing with anybody that's within this, within their system has been absolutely fabulous. Um, they reply back right away. Anyway, I still have comics that were outstanding from my old order. Okay, 
six to eight months ago we're talking about now. About three weeks ago, I get an email saying, hey, Casanova Arviarta number three is ready to ship. And I thought, okay, I didn't even realize I still had an order. I still had a, an account with them. So I tried to get the account closed. Can't close the account yet because I still have books outstanding. Fine, okay, whatever. So the, you know, I'm asking, okay, where is my Casanova book? Because that's number three. That'd be number three that I, because I'm missing an issue. So that'd be great to get that. Well, they don't normally ship out the books early, whatever, because they want to have a whole bunch of them because, of course, the shipping would cost them. But I have a few other outstanding books. The other outstanding books I have is Infinite Vacation number three, Infinite Vacation number, or no, no, I'm sorry, Infinite Vacation number four, Infinite Vacation number five, and Scarlet number six, which hasn't come out yet. Scarlet number six has a release date maybe of September or it could be December. Infinite Vacation number four came out three months ago. Two months ago, sorry, two months ago. I bought it off the shelf because I didn't think I had it ordered. So they haven't sent me my books for two months now, three months, that are actually out in physics I could have. Okay, fine, email them, say, hey, I got this problem. They give me a runaround for a while. They tell me that the comics are shipping. I point out the fact that, gee, I would like to close my account completely with them. Can't do that yet because of the order, but I'm fine. Whatever. Send me my books. You can send me. Yes, we'll send the books out. Get no books. You know them again. Oh, yes, we'll send the books out. They send me the infinite vacation that they missed. I mean, they flat out said, oops, we missed getting this for you. Whew, lucky us. We have one of these sitting around. We'll mail it to you. So I got that in the mail. Casanova was supposed to come along with it because Casanova's out too. So I've got Casanova. Email him back, email him back. One of the supervisors that I was talking to quick got fired. I don't know what. The next guy in line says, oh yeah, we sorry we screwed this up. They quoted me stuff that was on my account that really wasn't on my account. Needless to say, big giant cluster F. Really bad. Don't use them. I, I don't know what happened. The company used to be great. And, and, and then I don't know if they got too big. I don't know if um, once they started opening up physical stores, I don't know what the problem is. And like I said, normally I don't like outing people. I don't like complaining about stuff and whatnot. But I, I'm at the point now where the service has gotten bad enough that I feel I would be doing a disjustice to other comic book collectors out there if you were looking around at different places to order your comic books from and you thought that might be a good site to order it from don't. The communication is horrible. Um, their service is not great. Um, they say they're going to do something for you and they don't do some, They don't do it for you. These are all hallmarks of when your entire business is based on being a service provider. It's horrible. It's horrible. And I, and I hate to say it, but it's, it's ridiculous. They were supposed to have sent my comic book out two days ago. And I was supposed to get an email telling me what the... Um, tracking number is going to be for it, so I knew when it was coming. Nope. Nope. Anyway, enough of the bummer stuff. Um, I'm not sure if me and Ethan will have videos out this weekend or not. Um, because I've been so busy, I haven't got a lot of my comic books read. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll get them read by the weekend, since it's just late Thursday night. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see whether or not we get to that. If we don't, maybe we'll squeeze them in. Um, one of these nights early next week. Not sure when my No Capes is going to come out. Same thing. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get my comic books read, quite frankly, to get to that. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. The fun part of it, anyway. Um, you know, crappy people out there. I don't really got anything else in the way of news that I can think of. I haven't had time to pay attention to much of it, but I do it on my breaks and whatnot. Check my Twitter feed, and yeah, i just kind of disgusted by the whole Rob Ledfield thing. And him being a, being a creep to all the other creators out there. Anyway, that's it. I hope everyone else is having a great week. I've got this huge list of videos to watch. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching them. Um, man, maybe I'll watch some of them on Sunday. Of course, I'm going to sleep as much as I can on Sunday because it's my only day off for a couple weeks now. So, anyway, enough of my whining and crying. Everybody have a great one. Read more comics. Catch you later.